Oh man, nice the unis. <laughs> An idea years in the making, the Orlando Apollos of the Alliance of American Football are only 63 minutes away from launching. Hello and welcome to Spectrum Stadium on the University of Central Florida campus in East Orlando as the Apollos count down to the first snap against the Atlanta Legends. Last time Steve Spurrier coached a winning football team to the 2015 season, we thought maybe he had called it a career, but he's back, big smile on his face, he's excited to introduce the Apollos to Orlando. And here come the Orlando Apollos. And Smith remains in the game in the backfield. Gilbert gonna pass, throws over the middle, and it's caught for a touchdown by Jalen Marshall. Orlando, we have touchdown. And it's give, and it's Smith into the end zone for the second touchdown from the Apollos, straight up the gut. shotgun motion man and the handoff is to Akeem Hunt and they run a reverse and they're going to throw it open to Gilbert. We've got a touchdown Orlando. Garrett Gilbert from Jalen Marshall the wide receiver as the Apollos take a 22 to 6 lead. Intercepted. That's Terrence Garvin with his second pick. Touchdown. Watch that. The Orlando Apollos and the San Antonio Commanders just minutes away here at the Alamo Dome. The Orlando Apollos will start it out with the first snap moving left to right here at the Alamo Dome. Garrett Gilbert takes the snap, dumps it off, and it's incomplete off the fingertips of Akeem Hunt. Woodside back to the shotgun. Farrow in the backfield with him. Give is to Farrow, runs up the middle, has an open seam, hurdles and into the end zone for the first touchdown of the game. Kenneth Farrow touchdown as the Commanders take a 6-0 lead. Gilbert stands in, taking a shot, got a man out there, perfect throw! Beautiful ball delivered to Charles Johnson, yeah! 
Gilbert gets the snap, and he's hit, and he drops the ball, and it's recovered by the Commanders, who takes it into the end zone. Big number 90, Joey Embu, with a huge play from the Commanders as San Antonio takes a 27-17 lead. Get that ball, let's go. We gonna get that ball, let's go. He's only six points. The Apollos, as they put it, to 29-23. Got two receivers to the right. Gilbert takes the snap, looking to the right. Fires to an open Jalen Marshall, who gets into the end zone for the touchdown. And the game is tied at 29. This Apollo's defense in this fourth quarter and towards the end of the third have, has certainly stepped up. With side coming away, it's intercepted! Intercepted! And take it back for the touchdown! Keith Reeser, the pick six. Gilbert, play clock now at five. Gilbert, still near center, takes the snap now. Is the handoff to Dearness Johnson. He's got the first down as he crosses the 50, the 45, crosses the 40 into Commander's territory. Start the celebrating Central Florida. The Apollo should come home with a victory as the clock just continues to run. The 2-0 Apollos are back home tonight in the Bounce House trying to stop the Memphis Express in their tracks. Hello and welcome to Spectrum Stadium on the UCF campus for Orlando Apollos football. Fans are starting to fill in the seats here at the Bounce House. I'm Jamie Say in the booth. Perfect night weather-wise. We hope that holds. Orlando won the coin toss. They'll take the football. They'll start at the 25 and uh, hope that they can continue to play as well as they have in these first two that makes that perfect 2-0 start, Jamie. And Garrett, and he's going to line up under center. Jordan McRae, the starting center. He takes the snap, tosses it to Dearness Johnson, skips, and he gets into the end zone. Great move, little stutter step from Johnson, and he gets his first touchdown. Gilbert, the snap, looking to the right, fakes the throw. Now he's flushed out of the pocket. He's going to let it fly. He's got Rennell Hall open in the end zone. There's a flag on the play, but that's a touchdown. Rennell Hall, the UCF Knight, gets his first score as an Orlando Apollo. And uh, is to John. No, Gilbert keeps it instead on the fake cross. The 10, he's still running the five touchdown. What a play fake by Gary Gilbert, and he scores his second touchdown of the season. Here we go, victory formation, and that'll do it as Gilbert takes the knee. The Orlando Apollos improve to 3-0 on the season with a 21-17 victory over the Memphis Express. It's a cold and gray evening here in Salt Lake City. Temperatures in the 30s and dropping with a steady snowfall. Definitely foreign territory for the Orlando Apollos. The Salt Lake Stallions are led by head coach Dennis Erickson, an old friend of Apollo's head man Steve Spurrier. Though both coached at Florida Universities at the same time, they have never faced each other. Hey, let's go, baby. Game day. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh. yes, sir. Let's go. This is not temptation. Deliver us some evil. I have the kingdom by our glory forever. We are just minutes away from the Stallions and the Apollos. Tonight, the Apollos try to go 4-0 against the Salt Lake Stallions as Steve Spurrier faces his old friend Dennis Erickson. 6.15 to play in the second quarter. It's tied at three. Elliot Fry on for about a 41-42 yard field goal attempt. The snap is low, the hold, the kick is up, and it gets I mean, there. He's it money. just gets there. But he is money. It's second and 10 now, 20 yard line. The ball is spotted. Gilbert from the shotgun, two receivers to the left, two to the right. Gilbert will throw, fires into the end zone, and it's caught by Dante Dye for his first touchdown as an Orlando Apollo. Gilbert under center, receiver in motion, pitch to Dearness Johnson, who throws into the end zone to a wide open tight end. Sean Price, and the two point conversion is successful. A little fun. First and goal from the two, I formation, Gilbert pitch to Akeem Hunt, running again to the left, and Hunt gets into the end zone. Akeem Hunt gets his first touchdown as an Orlando Apollo. How redeemed must he feel right now? That's gonna do it 
you know, a minute 31 couple left knees. to go. A couple over. of knees, and the Apollos are going to be 4-0. This is a darn good football team. They had a lot working against them today in terms of the elements and injuries, and the Apollos overcome. Let's give one to offensive linemen. Yeah. Let's give one to Captain Lee on over. Four weeks, four victories through all kind of weather. The Orlando Apollos have stormed out to 4-0, the only undefeated team in the Alliance of American Football. Today, your Apollos strive for win number five. And to get it, they'll have to break down some iron. The Birmingham Iron, and record-wise, they are the second best team in the Alliance. Hello and welcome to Birmingham, Alabama, and Legion Field. Big dogs in the house today. I'm trying to <laughs> Gilbert shotgun, two receivers to the left, one to the right. Johnson in the backfield. The snap to Gilbert. He's going to throw again. He fires and is complete to the tight end. Scott Orndorff for the touchdown, and he does a little dance in the end zone. They want to prove that they're the best. It's third and 16 for Birmingham on its own 18. Perez from the shotgun, two receivers to the left, one to the right. Perez takes the snap, steps up, fires over the middle, and it's picked off by the Apollos. To the 30, 25, 20, 10, 5. And that's going to be a touchdown for the Apollos. Keith Price from the shotgun. Two receivers to the near side right, one to the far side left. Price takes the snap, and he's taken down at the 24-yard line. Making the play for the Apollos was Earl Ocon. Price the snap. Price steps up. Apollos get a hand on him, but he's able to escape. Now he gets rid of it. Fires complete and open lane to the end zone. And the Apollos, rather the iron score, their first receiving touchdown of the year. It's Brandon Ross on the touchdown reception. And just like that, we've got a much closer football game. We'll get that 18 step back there back from blue 34, blue 35. See how wide it's going from the shotgun, takes the snap, hands it off to Davion Smith. Smith running along the uh, far side, has a lot of room, crosses the 40, the 50 into Birmingham territory. He is still up like a bull, and he's driven out of bounds at the 35 yard line. But how about Davion Smith on that play? Field Gilbert takes the snap, throws to the left, into the end zone, and it's caught for a touchdown by Charles Johnson. The big receiver, the 6'2 receiver from Grand Valley State extends the Apollo's lead to 29-14. The division went through Orlando right now, just know that. It's up. Good morning, welcome to Scottie. The Orlando Apollos are back on the UCF campus for the first time since February 23rd. Fans are really filling in Spectrum Stadium right now. Apollo's game, tune into Rio Radio. <laughs> The snap from shotgun, and he gets a wide open receiver who just trots his way into the end zone. It was Jarrell Presley, the running back, lined up as a receiver, and Arizona takes its first lead. Gilbert the snap, looking to throw to the left, has Jalen Marshall for the touchdown, and the Apollos retake the lead. That's the way, Apollos. Presley in the backfield. The give is to Presley. Runs up the middle. Did he cross the goal line? His hot shots say yes, he did. And so do the officials. That's a touchdown for Arizona as the hot shots retake the lead. All right, the timeout is over. The snap to Gilbert from the shotgun. He's being pursued, flushed out of the pocket. Gilbert running to the right side. Let's it fly to an open shot. Price at the 50 to the 40. Price is down at the 35. Huge pass play. Well, you got to spike it now. Sean Price needed to go out of bounds there. Snap to Gilbert. Gilbert fires over the middle, and it's called by Jalen Marshall at the eight. They're running up to the line of scrimmage. There's 10 seconds to go as the clock winds down. All right, 
seven seconds. Gilbert takes the snap and downs no, it. No, that's going to end the game. It's going to be a 10 second runoff. That's going to end the game. It's going to end the game, Jamie. You got a false start. If it's a false start on Orlando, that's a 10 second runoff. That'll end the game. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hey, good game. You feel what I'm saying? We got a long way to go. This is a family. This is not a team. This is a family. We win, lose together. Live from the Georgia State Stadium, it's the Alliance of American Football. The two and four Atlanta legends hosting the five and one Orlando Apollo. Trying to bring up a third and goal now from just inside the one-yard line for Orlando. Deviant Smith, a short yardage back, the single eye off the left side and walks in. And just like that, a picture-perfect drive. As we begin the second quarter, third and six for Murray over the middle, wide open. That's Malachi Jones, touchdown legends. Now That's Dajay Olatoye inside the 10, down the 5, touchdown! Gilbert works the ball to Charles Johnson, touchdown! And there's that man, there's that man, Mark. Been silent most of today. Might as well. They go to work on Donatello Brown, who's the backup corner, who somehow got locked up with Johnson one-on-one, -on -one, and Johnson picks up his fourth touchdown of the season. As Orlando finds their way to a 36-6 win and have clinched a playoff berth in the Eastern Conference Finals. Now tomorrow morning, and then we're off to two Super Bowl.